it has begun we got boxes we're boxing up stuff to take to the storage because we want to get this down to just what we use yeah on a daily basis because when the RV does sell we want to be able to move out minimal stuff and be gone yes and we don't know when that's going to be so we're going to take this stuff we already have a storage unit on Fort Benning yeah which we've had the whole time we've been full time mm -hmm. but it's a 5 by 10 and it's never been totally full not even close so we have plenty of room for all this stuff yeah uh, we're going to pack it up and move it over there tomorrow, which tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be moving <laughs> on my birthday. Um, and then once we get the house, if the RV's still not sold, we'll still take this stuff and move it over to the house. Yeah. So we potentially, well, definitely, not potentially, definitely moving this stuff twice. Yeah. Just a matter of when we're moving it. But yeah. uh, we want to be able to move quickly when the RV goes. Yeah. So where are we starting? What are we doing? I say we start here. Kitchen stuff? Kitchen, living room. Living room. Those cabinets. We have cabinets up here that are full yeah. of stuff. Stuff in the fireplace that could probably go. Yes. Um, so we're just going to get down to like, just like, uh, you know, setting for two. <laughs> yeah. Maybe an extra. Yeah. Maybe a little Maybe bit extra. For four. And then some utensils. Yeah. Stuff that we use to cook. But for the most part, it's all going. Most everything under the bed's gonna go. Yeah, everything in this cabinet behind this you, the coat, go. the coat closet. Yeah. Um, a lot of the stuff can Up go in there. Yeah. Most of the bathroom linen cabinet will go too. That's not necessary. Yeah. And then there's some stuff down in the pass through the storage that we can get. Yes. We'll start on that a tomorrow because it's like almost nine o'clock at night right now. Yeah. So. We just got home from a function, so that's why we got a late start. But. Yeah, so let's get cranking. We'll do a little bit at least today. And set the rest in the morning. Yeah. All right. And then after lunch, we'll head to storage. And surprise, surprise. <laughs> Watching NASCAR. NASCAR, why we pack. Yeah. That's how we roll. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get hot. Yeah, we got some stuff done. Trash. <laughs> we bought 10 of these boxes. We've already used, what, Six. two... That's just uh, that's just in this area. That's just the living room. Yeah, we that we that's all the stuff that we can get out of there. And that's some all of the, the stuff that we are not going to use for the next month. Yeah, some stuff is still in here. So, um, taking more boxes than I thought was going to take initially. It's amazing what you can fit in these little things. It is crazy, man. Because the last time we moved out of one of these was, what, three years ago? A little over three years ago when we switched yeah. from the Montana to the Alliance. And when we moved then, I was like, Never how do we have this much <laughs> crap in here? It just it just adds up over time. And then you start finding stuff that you've been looking for forever. <laughs> yes. Like a Dremel. Like a Dremel. We've been looking for I was like, I need this tool. Not that I use tools a lot, but I was like, I need this tool. I don't remember what I needed it for. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we found it last night. Got the yeah. Dremel. Yeah. So that's good. Um, yeah. And now we're heading upstairs. We'll be doing the bathroom and the bedroom, mostly under the bed and the closet. All stuff that we can get rid of. And I'm sure we will have no problem filling up those last four boxes. I have a feeling we're going to be a couple boxes short. We're probably, so. probably so. Well... We're dropping off the boxes to our storage. Here's what the storage looks like right now. We still got plenty of space in here. Tony, did you see how much we brought? Yeah, we got plenty of space, man. Well, we got height. Yeah. But these bins got crushed the first time we tried to stay. We were trying to come and do this yesterday. Yeah. Didn't work out so good. Because our, our key card reader didn't work. And it was on a Sunday. So we called the emergency number. Which no one answered, left a voicemail. No one called us back ever. Yeah. It's a good thing we weren't like on fire. Yeah. Or like trapped in here. Yeah. Because no one would have been able to let us out. We spent the night in here. Yeah. But um, yeah. Let's see what it looks like after. Oh my god, it's gonna look terrible. Look, see. Yeah, we got plenty of room. <laughs> Tell us you'd be fine. Look at all that space. Yeah, look, you can like stand in there and spin around, man. Look, see? <laughs> well, when we, when we do get the house, yeah. we're going to have to get a U-Haul. One trip. Because all we're going to have is this. Mm -hmm. And that would be about 37 trips <laughs> to get all these yeah, boxes and stuff. So. a small U-Haul for the day. 
Yeah, one trip, be done with it. One and done. Yeah. All right. All right. Next. On to bigger and better things. <laughs> and we got somebody looking at the truck today. Yeah. So maybe we'll sell it. Well, there she is. Truck. This will be the last time you will see this truck in the background of <laughs> one of our videos. Yep. She's sold. She is sold. She's going to her new home today. And it, we couldn't be more excited about it or happy about it because we sold it to a friend. So yes. it's kind of like she's staying in the family. Yeah. We're we'll going to see her. Yeah, we'll still see her from time <laughs> to time. It's a good friend of ours we've known for years and years. Mm -hmm. We used to ride motorcycles with and uh, just a, a good guy. And uh, yeah, happy to happy to give it to him. See her still staying kind of close by. Yeah. Like, keep an eye on We know she'll be well taken care of. Yes. So that's good too. Even though, I mean, when you sell a vehicle, you're like, I just want the money and you can do whatever you want with it. But you kind of want to know that after you've spent so much time with this vehicle and taking care yeah. of it, you would hope that someone else would take care of it also. Yeah. Because this is the longest we have ever owned any one single vehicle since we've been married. Yes, six years. Yeah. It's the longest we've ever kept a car. And the most miles we've ever put on a yeah. vehicle. And probably the first vehicle that Leslie's ever paid off in full. That is a true statement. Because <laughs> we just, we, she always got a new one and a new one and a new one. We I always grew kept up the in payment. a family that leased vehicles. So yeah. I was used to a new car every three to four years. <laughs> yeah. So we had this one for how long? Six, six. years. And uh, June was six years. Paid exactly. it off. And um, so a new chapter. Yeah. Now, this one's not paid off, <laughs> by the way. So we're back to the old, back to the old. All right. The norm for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta get going because we gotta deliver her because uh, he has nobody to come with him to come pick it up. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna go deliver her. Yeah. Awesome. Very exciting. It, it's, it's starting to happen. Things it's all are starting to happen, now. and it's happening in the correct order. We knew we had to sell the truck first. Yes. I think we have a buyer for the RV. Yep. So stay tuned for that. Today we are taking off the decal, and our hopes is that we'll take off the decal and you won't be able to notice it was there even there because it's white. The last RV we had, the Montana, was tan and when we took the decal off, you can still see the outline of where the decal was because of the sun fading. So hopefully this will be easy to take off and hopefully it won't leave residue. So I got my plastic razor blade and I got my goo gone for the ickiness. And we're doing this on a super hot day. It's like 100 degrees outside. so. Hopefully we won't need a heat gun or anything like that because it's so hot out here. Hopefully the decal will come off easy. And our, our good buddy right here, little <laughs> butterfly, is I guess wanting to oversee the project. It is coming off. And all that stickiness is still there. All the adhesive is still stuck to the RV. And this is just this is just dirt and stuff that has because the edges of these decals peel up just a little bit over time and then dirt gets in there and sticks to the adhesive so we'll have to clean all that off and I gotta get that cleaned off before more dirt before more dirt blows around and sticks to it too. Well you can see that the decal is gone but you can still see the way we're wags hanging out of here. That's all the adhesive. That's all that sticky sticky adhesive on there. So now I gotta get a hold of the goo gone. And you can see the yellow discolorment from the adhesive. So hopefully when I rub that off, all you'll see is the same bright white that you see here. Fingers crossed. It's crazy. I was peeling this off. And as I'm peeling off different states, I'm thinking about all the times we were in those states. I'm like, oh, there goes Florida. Oh, there goes Florida. Oh, there goes Texas. You know, all that stuff. So I was thinking about the states we've been to as I was, as I was peeling them off. <laughs> well, I don't know how well you can see it, but got the top arch gone. And we got the eastern beacon off and the northern beacon off there's a little bit of faint you can see a faint arch and maybe it's got to work work that out a little bit more but that's a lot of adhesive man that's a lot of sticky stuff and it's going through a lot of uh goo gone so leslie went to the store to get some more goo gone because i'm just spraying the crap out of it letting it set rubbing it in she's gonna grab some more rags while she's out there too and uh but that's what it looks like right now this is just getting started into it like a bugger. Oh. Uh, uh. Stop it. Look at it. Don't you dare <laughs> flick it at me. <laughs> well, now I'm taking the Favorite Wags logo 
and then the website and all the socials off of here. It's a little more difficult because I gotta hang over the edge because we don't have a ladder other than over there and I can't reach over here. So I'm doing this upside down so all the blood is running to my head and to my hands. So this one's gonna be a little more strenuous and tedious. And uh, about 105 degrees outside. I was hoping right. that the heat would help with the adhesive, but it's not really. I mean, these are still coming off pretty easily, but all the adhesive is just staying right on the RV. Probably just because it's been there for so long. Even if you heated it up, I don't think uh, I don't think it would all come off. So we'll have to like saturate this with goo gone, and uh, it's going to take a long time and a lot of goo gone. Well, I think we did the best that we could do. Can't hardly see any. You see, if you get up close, you can't see on camera, but if you get up close, you can see the faint, faintness of the logo, and you can see the faintness of the logo up there, and then the waywardwags.com and all the social media logos. But now we're just washing it. I say we're washing it. Leslie's washing it Wash now. Wash the oil off. And uh, then we'll spray her down, and it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. Whatever it looks like after that, that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Yeah. See it, man. It's the best we can get. Yeah. Tired. We did our best. Did our best. You see a faint little. You do see it. See a faint little bit right there, and then yeah. there's a faint little bit. But up there where the logo was. But... It's on there for three and a half years. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. And I don't think it's um. It's not adhesive anymore. I think it's just part of the black faded onto it from the Rubbed. decal, like embedded itself into the fiberglass. Yeah. So it's just a little. It's just there. Maybe he'll put a big American flag or something up That's there. Right. Yeah. You're good. America. America. <laughs> uh, um, and according to my calculations, oh, as long as this buyer comes through, like he says he is. We have ten more nights <laughs> in the RV. Really? Ten more nights. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, so tomorrow is a Monday, so tomorrow we will have to make arrangements for where we're going to stay after Afterwards. this. Between the time we sell this to the time we close on the house, which yeah. will be about, what? Nine days? Nine days? Eight days? Nine days? Yeah. Yeah. But they have a, they have a campground on post. Yeah. The little cabins. We've never gone in a cabin, never seen It's a cheaper cabin. than a hotel. It and is you get your own cabin, so for the bathroom. And, yeah, and we know it's really quiet out there. We stayed out there. Actually, yeah, it was our first time, first place we ever camped. Yeah, and we camped out there several times. Yeah, it'll be the last place we camp if we. It will be the last time we camp, but this is the last place we'll camp in the RV. But yeah, that'll be the last place we camp anywhere. Yeah, maybe, maybe down the road somewhere. Yeah, along maybe a way. Oh, yeah. From now on, my camping's at the Marriott <laughs> Or an Airbnb. Oh, that's exhausting. So, um, yeah. word of advice, if you're thinking about putting your decal on the back of your RV, if you are a social media influencer, pass. pass. <laughs> it's not worth it. Don't do it. Oh my God, my arm hurts. My arm hurts too. Uh, yeah. I'm holding this camera up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plug it away, chipping away. Yeah. Closer and closer, here we go. Here we go. Well had our first significant setback a hiccup in the journey yeah we had our our buyer lined up i thought yes and called us today and said that uh not gonna be able to make it happen no so back to square one and we lost several days yeah because we didn't have it listed because we thought he was buying we it already it yeah. had it set up the date he was coming and everything yeah so we thought it was kind of locked in, but yeah, we won't do that again. No. First person to show up with the money in their hand gets it. <laughs> and the listing's not coming down until somebody shows up with the money in their hand. <laughs>Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.